Hey guys, my name is Victoria Calise. This is my channel about rats and it's really just going to be me learning and figuring things out. I'd like to urge the importance of researching animals, especially before you get them, not after you get them. Thanks to the rat guru here on YouTube, I've recognized the wrong type of toys, cages, feed, bedding, and care overall for rats. I'd also love to give a very special and very big thank you to the rat guru for putting so much effort, time, and love into caring for her rats and taking videos so that she can inform others who may be a little wary or unknowing. I know the rat guru suggests that you get a cage online or from someone who previously had rats specifically because pet stores make cages that are way too small for rats even if they're targeted for rats but I had to get the rat starter pack from PetSmart because it was all they had and it was the cheapest and soonest option that I had so without further ado here is a cage this here is the unscented and undyed bedding that came with the starter pack and it's paper bedding, the rest seem to like it. Here is a hut that I got for about $7 from PetSmart that has an elastic band that stretches around the outside bars and I got a lanyard hook to connect on the outside so that the boys couldn't push it around. Inside, there are little puff balls that I found actually in the closet at my kitchen and the boys seem to like them. They carry them all around the cage, they hide them in new places. I didn't put those in there, Eli did. <laughs> Next on the bottom level, there are Big Branch Bites by Katie. I got them at Russell Feed and Supply, which is where I got them as feeder rats. It's about $2.99, yeah, $2.99. I saw on the Rat Guru's page that she had multiple boxes of rocks as their litter because rats like to pee on large, flat, smooth rocks. So I added smaller rocks and marbles in there as decorative and spacers and they seem to enjoy it. This here is actually a bird toy that I got at PetSmart for like $3 and behind that is a rabbit toy that I got for about $2. This is a dog rope that I got for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and it's tied on by felt. This is a box that I found inside of my closet that I filled with paper, felt, and cardboard, and Timmy loves to sit in there and hide. Ping pong balls I got for a dollar, and this is a toy I made by myself. It's made of buttons, candy beads, and Cheerios on a string. And these are one dollar necklaces that I got from the dollar store. I read that they're non-toxic. Let me know if I'm wrong. Here is a box that I made, because it was just a regular cardboard box I found in my garage. I put grass, paper, felt, cardboard, and filled it with little Cheerios that they could find when they go in. There's a the box in the bottom right where it's usually sat. And here are the shower rings. I kind of put them together as a bridge, but they don't seem to use it as a bridge, so I just use it to hang the little toys that I made from them. This is just puff balls, candy beads, felt on a string. Now to the food platform. That's the bowl that came with the rat starter kit, and these are apples I put in. The food in the bowl was the food that came with the kit. Um, this is a piece of cheese that I left in there as a treat, and only Timmy seems to like it. A little bite mark. So cute! This is an extra water bottle I got because I didn't know if the kit came with one. It has an attachment that goes to the cage where you can detach the water bottle, fill it up, and then put this right here is a little bucket that has felt, feed, cardboard, paper, bedding, extra stuff like that that I use while I'm taking care of my rats. It just keeps it in a confined space away from the rats but easy to get to when I need to do something. The gray and yellow bag you see right there is filled with the stuff that I use to make their own toys and on the side of the bin there are two ramps that I took out because it promotes exercise and the boys in the this lunchbox right here I found that no one used. I cut out the front and put nesting material on the inside. The boys seemed to like it because they took all the nesting material out and put it in their own hammock. 
funny enough, there's no connecting space between the two, and I haven't seen them go in or out of it, but somehow they got all the bedding into their... The hammock here is green, and it has fur on the inside that's soft. The hammock that came with the kit is white and crinkly and almost plasticky, and I didn't think they were like it, so I got another one. Next, I will have you meet the boys. This here is Ellipsis, or Eli. He has a personality traits that are almost completely opposite of Timmy's. He's energetic, he loves to run around, he loves to play, he loves to be out of the cage. There's also a few physical characteristics that set him apart from Timmy. He has a longer tail, a longer face, and a shorter, um, let's say backside, or I guess scientific term is testicles. Here is Timmy, his brother. Um, he's a lot more timid, that's what he was named after, his little personality trait, he loves to hide, he likes to be left alone, and he's super shy unless I'm talking to him. He has a larger backside, shorter tail, and a shorter face, and he enjoys most when I'm holding him cupped in both hands and talking to him sweetly. 